Christine and today I'm going to show you how to put a border on a quilt top because this quilt top will not go another day without a border. But first I want to wish everybody a very fruitful Me Made May where you celebrate wearing and making your own home sewn clothing. I'm going to celebrate Me Made May this year by wearing something I made myself in every video I release this month. To kick things off, I am wearing the easiest skirt in the world to make that is perfect for every skill level, even if you've never made your own clothing before. You can find a tutorial to make this skirt and the matching belt down in the description below or on my channel page. Without further ado, let's put a border on this quilt. Adding a border to a quilt will do a lot of different things, such as give you extra yardage if your quilt backing is much bigger than your top, help balance out different colors and prints in your quilt top, and square up all your rough edges and corners. And the quilt I'm currently making needs a little of all of that. Choosing a color and print for a border is very important Important because whatever color and print you use for the border of your quilt will be the most prominent color and print in the whole quilt. Using a yellow fabric for my border would make this quilt look very bright and yellow, but using a green would kind of wash it out. Since the dark blue on my quilt is the most prominent color already, I went with a blue border to help balance out that dark value from the rest of the lighter colors in the quilt. You can also add multiple borders in as many different colors and prints as you want. It's also important to figure out if you want a printed or solid color border because a quilt that has a mixture of both prints and solid colors might look better with one or the other. A boring quilt top made with all solid colored fabrics can be really interesting looking if it has a printed border. And a fully printed quilt top can add a little bit of negative space with a solid color border. But if you have the fabric for it, using another color that is already in your quilt top for the border is usually the best option. You can cut your border strips as wide as you need them to be. I'm cutting mine to three inches wide each. I also cut vertical and horizontal strips out of my border because my print is a one directional print. To attach your border to the quilt, lay your quilt out flat and set your border piece next to it. Place your border and your quilt top right sides together and pin it to the edge. Fold your quilt top in half and measure how far your border sits from the center of your quilt. I am working with 25 and a half inches. Then make sure your border sits the same distance from the center of the quilt all the way across and readjust your pins if necessary. And do that to the opposite side as well, so you will have either a top and a bottom border or two sides. Follow the edge of your border when sewing your border to your quilt, rather than following the edge of the quilt top, because the quilt top is most likely not going to be straight. Sew your border to your quilt top and press it open the same way you did the rest of the quilt. I added a little extra stitching here to reinforce the seam so it would look uniform with the rest of my quilt top. Then fold your quilt top in half the other way and line your border edges up with each other. Measure how far your border will sit from the center of your quilt. I'm working with 22 inches this time. And pin the rest of your border to your quilt top, making sure it sits the same distance from the center all the way across. Sew your border to your quilt top and press it open the same way you did the other side. And don't forget to clip your border pieces if they hang off the edge. And that's how you sew a border to a quilt top. I'm really glad I went with blue in the end after flip-flopping a bunch on what color to choose because I think the blue really helps balance this quilt out and I think it ended up looking really pretty. 
Let me know down in the comments if you have any other questions on how to make a nice square border and leave a like on this video if you haven't already. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the video when it comes out of this quilt finally being done. As always, thank you so much for watching my video today everyone and I will see you guys next week.